In 1884, a bacteriologist, Christian Graham, invented a test. The bacteria which are having thick peptidoglycan layer in their cell wall composition is termed as gram positive, whereas the bacteria which are having thin peptidoglycan layer in cell wall composition is termed as gram negative bacteria. Gram staining is a bacteriological laboratory technique is to differentiate two large groups of bacteria based on their physical properties or cell wall composition of the bacteria. Gram positive and gram negative bacteria stain differently because of fundamental structure of their cell wall composition. What is the fundamental structure differences? For example, if you take gram positive bacteria, the cell wall composition comprises 60 to 90 percent of peptidoglycan membrane. Peptidoglycan is nothing but a protein and sugar component and less amount of lipids. Whereas gram negative bacteria, the cell wall comprises phospholipids. 20% only the peptidoglycan and rest all comprises the phospholipids. So that is why in gram positive bacteria thicker the layer of peptidoglycan membrane whereas gram negative bacteria thin layer of peptidoglycan membrane. That is why during the staining process the gram positive bacteria retain the primary stain whereas the gram negative retains the counter stain loses the primary stain crystal violet. Four reagents used in gram staining process. Reagent 1 crystal violet and the reagent 2 grams iodine which act as a mordant and reagent 3 alcohol. Alcohol act as a decolorizing agent like acetate with ethanol. 50% this one and ethanol 50% or 95% of alcohol we can use as a decolorizing agent. And the fourth reagent is safranin which is act as a counter stain. Before starting the staining process we have to fix the microbial bacterial smear on the surface dried slide. How to fix the smear. Take a clean dry slide. Pick the suspected colonies with the help of Henley's loop and emulsify on the surface of the slide with the help of saline solution. Once emulsify on the surface of the slide, once you expose underneath the slide to the flame, then heat smear will fix on the surface. First take a crystal violet dye. <coughs> Pour it on the heat fixed smear. Wait for 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And after that, wash with water. Then again apply grams iodine, which act as a moderate, which will bind the crystal violet dye deeper into the cell wall, I mean cell membrane. After applying the grams iodine then decolorize with 95 percent alcohol solution which is nothing but acetate with ethanol we have to we have to flood with decolorizing agent decolorizing agent we have to flood for 10 to 20 seconds after after flood with decolorizing agent then again wash with water then finally apply the counter stain saffronin after flood with the decolorizing agent or 95 percent alcohol if the cells still retains crystal violet purple or blue color then the cells comes under gram positive bacteria or if the cells loses the stain then which may retain with counter stain saffronin then the cells 
retain the counter stain which appears like pink color or red color. This is how we can differentiate from gram, gram positive to gram negative bacteria. It's a simple elaborated technique to distinguish gram positive, gram negative bacteria. Examples of gram positive bacteria are Listeria monocytogens, Staphylococcus, etc. And examples of gram negative bacteria Salmonella, Vibrio cholerae, Echerichia coli, Pseudomonas, and Sizilia. That's all about the video, friends. If you like the video, click the bell icon and subscribe my channel for regular updates. Thank you and bye bye.